what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Diamond and Silk. Remember those two sellouts, the buck dancing ghetto queens who were all up under Donald Trump and just saluting and riding for him during the election? Well, they recently testified before the House Judiciary Committee hearing on free speech and social media. Representative Sheila Jackson Lee of Texas asked them whether they had ever been paid by the Trump campaign. The two emphatically said no. Ms. Hardaway, have you ever been paid by the Trump campaign? Asked Sheila Jackson Lee. No, we've never been paid by the Trump campaign, replied Hardaway. Not $5, not $100. Well, what about $1,274.94? She said again, we've never been paid by the Trump campaign. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The Trump campaign's Federal Election Commission's filing indicate that the pair were paid $1,274.94 on November 22, 2016 for, guess what, y'all? Field consulting. Since they're house Negroes, should have been house consulting. But anyway, during the combative exchange, Hardaway and Richardson uh, were asked about the discrepancy by Hakeem Jeffries, who is a Democrat in New York. And he said, remember, you're under oath. And time and time again, they continued to say that they hadn't been paid. Well, it turns out that they had been paid that money, but they say the money was for travel not for field consulting. They also said to the committee that the payment was improperly labeled and that the money was actually for airfare that the two had paid to speak at a Trump rally. So they're saying that they went out there on their own dime because they loved Donald Trump so much and that they believed in him so much that they made a fool out of themselves for nothing. They just wanted to support Trump. But you know they're lying, right? You know it's deeper than that. See, these two, if you've ever seen them around, they are the epitome of clowns. I mean, they sound just like some clowns. As soon as you hear them talking, they sound like Lordy Hardy. One of them start talking, and then the other one come back. Like the other one try to finish the sentence like they Siamese twin, twins or something. Yeah. And then they'd be like, yeah. The other one be behind them. One say something. Then the other one get behind like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm Yeah. And they need to just shut up. And that's what I said. And, you know, like it's just, it's, it, you can tell it's a clown act, right? I think that testimony is going to come back and bite them in the butt. Because you know they lied. Straight up lied. Is it either receive the money as payment for services rendered or you didn't, right? So knowing the type of people they are, they don't have integrity, very, very low moral standards. I'm willing to bet that they're lying and they receive some payments and, and I believe that there are more payments out there for them because they were on that campaign trail real heavy. And I'm, I'm willing to bet that there are other payments out there. And they ain't got no money. You know, they came into prominence uh, strictly by cooning. So it's going to be interesting to see if they can smash the gas on them to make them do some time. They said that they called the FEC files, the information in the files, fake news. <laughs> And they were arrogant too, they were very honorary. You know, like when the government got you in the crosshairs, when the feds got you in the crosshairs, that is the time to humble yourself. That's not the time to be arrogant. So if they got anything on them, 
Trust me, they're going to get them. And I would love to see their asses get smashed. I would love to see that very system of white supremacy that they try to uphold come back and do them real, real dirty. I can't wait to see that. Just like I can't wait to see some of these coons get killed by the police. And I know some of y'all say, no, no, Willie D, no, 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 man, they the enemy. I don't give a damn who kill them. They're the enemy. Man, who, who has time to sit around thinking about who kills their enemies? They're the enemy. I don't give a damn how they die. I don't give a damn if a cop busts them in the head. They get ran over by a car. They fall off a damn ledge on a building. Man, I don't care how they die. Overdose, whatever. Somebody just stick them up. A million times with a pin in, in the chin. I don't give a damn. As long as they get up out of here, man. That's how I feel, man. These chicks are some liars. They're not to be trusted. So I say they get what they get. Play Trump games, win Trump prizes. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.